Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and if you've ever wanted to learn how to do a moving average, then you're going to want to watch this video. Hey, if you like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right, so let's get started here. I'm going to bring in our sample data, which is located at GitHub. I'll put this link in the notes and this is what our data looks like and the idea here is we want to do a moving average by product so let me just show you one of those products we'll do like a radio and we want to calculate a moving average of four periods for uh, radios and so as the weeks progress we'll continue to pull a four day amount or I'm sorry a four week amount of sales and use that to calculate the average so how can we do this in SQL using an easy method? Well, uh, one way you can do that is using a window function. And let me show you what that looks like. So here's a window function that can calculate average. So I have the amount and then the four week moving average. And before we get into looking at the values, let's talk about how this thing works. Okay, so there's there's some pieces here I think that are um, relatively straightforward. If you look at the select statement, of course we're getting the sales date, the product, and the amount. I mean, that's pretty basic. And then here's the function average. Okay, that's cool. We're going to use the average of the amount. But there's a whole bunch of spice behind this. And this is what makes it a window function. And let's talk about this stuff. So there's this thing called an over clause. And the over clause is everything between these two parentheses. And what does the over clause do? It's going to do two things. One, it's going to define the grouping of data that we want our calculation to run across. And if we change that grouping, then to reset the calculation. So in our case, that grouping is product. And in window functions, they don't call it a grouping, they call it a partition. So we're literally partitioning our data behind the scenes by CD players, by radios, and then by TVs. Okay. And then the idea is to order the data as we're going to do the calculation by sales date. Makes sense. We're going to do a moving average by time. And so this information is going to get ordered by the date, you know, the from the week ending the 5th, 12th, and so on. And now here's the tricky part. This is called a Windows frame. And it looks a little confusing and fancy, but I'll just tell you what it means in plain English. All right, so rows, we know what that means. We're, that means we're going to work with a couple of rows. So obviously, these things I'm highlighting are rows. And we want rows between something. So we know what between means. And now let's talk about the part that's probably a little overly fancy. Three preceding. So what that means is we're looking at rows three above us. Preceding is, you know, like a fancy word for saying before us. So if I'm my current row, let's say is row six, then I want to start three preceding, which would be one, two, three. So we're going to start at row three and current row. So everything's relative to this current row that we're on which would have been in our calculation row six and so what it's going to do then is calculate a moving average from row six to three preceding and the moving average that it calculates for the 167.5 will be based on these and if we come way down here we can see that that would is the average that's selected so that's how the window function works to calculate these moving averages. And so the, again, there's several key components here. One is obviously the function. The second is the windows clause. We need to know what we're partitioning by. We're partitioning by products. Then it turns into, okay, you wanted to do a moving average. So what are we doing the moving average across? We're doing it across dates, sales dates. So we're going to go down by sales dates. Then the next thing is, is like, all right, you got that, but what rows are included in the moving average? 
So this is where we need to define this window frame that we've just been talking about. And how we define the rows for the moving average is based on our current row. So everything's going to be relative to the row we're on and doing the calculation. And we want to go proceeding to that. And then those rows become part of that calculation. That's how the window function works. So one last thing here is you may wonder, well, couldn't I have just done this with a, um, a group by? Well, you can do parts of this with a group by, right? You can average by a group and so on, but you lose the detail. And that's where the window function really shines, is it maintains the detail. So the group by probably would have come back and said, all right, for this group of four values, here's the average. And then it go to the next group, here's the average. And then, but you'd lose that ability to see within what the average is. And I think, you know, one way to see this is, is that, you know, this thing can be ordered any way you want. You can see here where the, the computer or the database ordered it uh, in the way it, it decided that it wanted to do the calculation and just laid the rows out that way. But there's nothing stopping me from saying, you know, order by um, uh, sales date, right, and then product. So we can see, you know, how our report would lay out um, as we went week by week and see the moving average within each each product. So hopefully you're seeing here that the slight difference between, or not slight, it's a huge difference between window functions and group by is I maintain, I maintain the detail with the window functions. So with that, um, hopefully this is something that's been super cool that you thought like, well, I didn't know how to do that. And it's not as hard as it looks, even though this looks scary, intimidating. You know, this really breaks down to like Englishy stuff. So good luck. Let's try it. And if you have questions, put them in the comments and I'll answer them for you. Take care. Bye.